Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to know of the 50 independent states of the United States, yeah. <laughs> How many of them have agreements with other nations that they can dissolve their marriage uh, certificates? Yes. Or, yes, involve themselves in any of the legal documents from other nations? <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to go through each state, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, <laughs> Sheriff Joe, <laughs> Yuma, Arizona, Sheriff's Department, <laughs> And I'm going to sue every sheriff and every cop of the United States, yes, that knows of any judge in any county of the United States dissolving any marriage uh, of any, any marriage license, yes, where the United States as a nation does not have a reciprocity agreement. <laughs> now, from what I've heard in my own personal research, <laughs> because Canada is a neighbor of the United States, they can dissolve all our marriages. See, they're in the north part of it. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're from Idaho or Montana. You decide to go to Canada to get a divorce <laughs> right now. <laughs> or maybe North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan. <laughs> Those in the northern parts of the United States, Canada is up there, even though you can't see them. Yes. <laughs> and then there's the southern part. <laughs> Down here around Texas, yeah, Arizona, New Mexico, <laughs> there's uh, what's known as Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> you can't see them, but they're close neighbors to the United States. <laughs> now, this international recognition of, uh, of legal documents, yes, <laughs> it requires federal statutes that allow you to do that. Yes, <laughs> and when I inform you that the United States <laughs> can or cannot dissolve, yes, Marriage certificates issued from the United Nations. Now, they might be able to facilitate uh -huh, the dissolution of marriage, but I think the United Nations has to dissolve it. <laughs> now, let's say you're another nation. Yes, <laughs> you're from any nation of the world, and you thought, well, I'm going to move to the United States and have that, <laughs> have that marriage dissolved. <laughs> A lot of these other nations... <laughs> They actually have to have formalized agreements to be able to dissolve each other's marriages. Yes. And for the other 170 nations, for every county that I find that a judge did not recognize the limitations of their authority, I'm going to sue those counties so that nobody, I mean nobody in the United States would ever dissolve a marriage without federal legislation. Now, um, there's the recognition mm -hmm, of national uh -huh, uh, reciprocity agreements where we recognize uh, the diplomatic recognition. Right. Uh, now, um, I know it's difficult for you. Yes. Because you just don't want to be told what you can and can't do. Mm -hmm. But I think that you can't dissolve a United Nations marriage. Yes. And they can't dissolve a Washington state marriage. Uh oh, <laughs> I, I can go through the United Nations. And for every time I find that they didn't have some sort of formalized agreement with another nation, I will sue them for you. Well, <laughs> get me every marriage certificate that the United Nations has dissolved yes, for the last 50 years. <laughs> And if they've been uh, dissolving marriages of other nations that they have no legal formalized agreement with, yes, I would say they're violating their authority as a non-governmental organization. Yes, give me the United Nations Charter. <laughs> now, we can look at these international agreements between the United Nations and other nations. Yes, but I would, I would just, you know, guess to say, yes. Let's say you live in any nation of the world and you really are having a difficult time getting a dissolution of marriage and you dis you disagree with the amount of child support that they want you to pay. <laughs> and you think, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the United Nations and they can dissolve 
every marriage certificate issued from every state, ooch, every county, ooch, every territory, all of the Commonwealth. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> and uh, they have the international authority of dissolving anything they want because they're the United Nations. <laughs> now, there could be multiple lawsuits in this. <clears throat> Because somebody might have want. Oh, you skirted the rules! My goodness, <laughs> that's quite a bust out. <laughs> now, um, these national parks. Yes, exactly. Who owns them? <laughs> now, oh my gosh, the Takaya National Park in Guatemala. <laughs> we own that, don't we, United States? Yes, we own all the national parks in every nation of the world. It doesn't matter. <laughs>